Hey, good morning, and welcome to another episode of How I Spent the Apocalypse. So this is a stress-filled, full of tasks no one wants to do days. So what's happening today? Right now as I'm making this, the election's happening today. It's Super Tuesday. And uh, whatever happens... Some of us are going to feel like it's the end of the world, and some of us are going to feel like we won. You're not going to have won, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Those of you who think you're winning, if he gets in, 045 gets in again, mark my words. Four years from now, you're going to be ruined the day you went to vote for him. Just saying. I could be wrong, but have I been wrong about the pandemic yet? No, I haven't. So there you go. Okay, so today started out with, you know, as I, I built that really nice barn for the goats. Oh, yeah. Very nice barn for the goats. And of course, they keep showing me all the things that I did wrong. <laughs> I have to have the billy goat over here, and he'll be here for about a month just to make sure the does are, are bred. And as you know, he is a monster. Yep. Okay, so the fence that made it nice, the goats could kind of jump on the feeders and look over. He puts his whole head over and butts me and tries to bite me when I'm trying to let the goats in and out of the milk room. Yay! So I had to put in some angular two-before's to fill the gap so he can't do that. Okay? And of course, in order to do it, he's such an asshole that I had to keep feeding him here and closing these doors and then feeding him there and closing those doors. I wasted at least five pounds of food just getting him to leave me the fuck alone. And why is this children? Why? Because animals, animals are, are assholes. assholes. <laughs> I shouldn't have to keep telling you that. Okay, so what was the other crappy, crappy thing I had to do? Well... I needed to move last night. I got woke up with the dogs barking, ran outside, and got super paranoid that dogs were gonna come and kill my little doe, but worse yet, my son's billy goat. Right. Cause that ain't my goat. Right. So I realized I was gonna have to move them sooner than I wanted to from that pasture over there to here where our dogs are and can patrol on three sides and keep other people's dogs from trying to eat them. So let's walk over real quick and I'll show them to you. Because have they met Meyer's little goat? I don't know. Okay, well come on and I will. If you've met him already, pretend like you haven't. I told you this is a stressful, shitty day. <laughs> and I'm using a brand new camera, so. If you're using a brand new camera, none of this may work, so it doesn't fucking matter. Here is Rody. And this is, this was my old Billy Goat pin before I built that one over there when I didn't have that property. So this is our, and there's our little doe. You've met Penny before. And as you can see, the grass in there is way tall. Now he is a registered Nigerian dwarf goat who belongs to Boondock Herd, which is my son's registered herd. So why am I breeding him to my little bitty doe? Are not, are, she's a registered Nubian. She's a registered Nubian, and as you can see, she's a little small, but if you don't get them bred their first year, they never, we've talked about that before, they never do well. So breeding her to him, she shouldn't have any trouble, even if, usually after you breed them, they grow a lot, which always weirds people out. But they grow a lot after they get bred. So, but also, if she, look how little he is. If she, little ditty Nigerian dwarf kids are about this big, so she shouldn't have any trouble. But also, she is related to Casper too much. She too is much. both his daughter and his granddaughter. Right. So we cannot breed him to her. Right. So my son has a goat. Happens to be that little. Don't get in that brush pile. I just burned it. It's still hot, you dinguses. 
But, um, so I moved them today. And I thought that was going to be a major thing, but no. I just took her by the collar and she followed me right over here and he followed her because as you can see. Yeah, he's, he's in, he's in love. Ass rut. He's in love. He actually smells four times worse than our humongous billy goat because our humongous billy goat has been descented and this one hasn't. Yeah, descented, by the way, doesn't mean they don't stink. They just don't no, stink nearly as badly. They just don't have sink glands on their head. They still have them on their legs. Right. They just don't have them on their head, which is where their major stinking is. Well, and also they keep peeing on themselves. Yes. Yay. So, <laughs> and that lo that's a lovely scent. So what is my biggest task for today that I have to do that I wasn't even going to show you guys because I thought, they don't want to see that. That's kind of morbid. And then I thought, you know what? I hate to say this, but some of you, I hope to God you're not, but some of you may be in the same position. You may lose a loved one, and nobody can afford to do a headstone. So I made my dad's headstone, um, not because mom couldn't afford one, but because they wanted me to make it. And now, um, because of money, and everything um i'm making michael's headstone so what i so the first thing i did i'll have to have plastic to put it on of course because we don't want it sticking to the table and this plastic okay so i used up all my feed sacks doing my barn build and putting in the ceiling in here because i was just stuffing them in there but this was the covering off a twin side mattress we put at the B and B. Right. Okay. And as you can see, I already used it as a drop cloth for paint, and now I'll use it to pour this uh, pour this monument. And uh, I made the box. That's a piece of our old fence. Yeah. This is a piece of the old barn, and that was a piece of trim that was left over from what doing the other barn. Now I'll try to get that as square as I can, just by eyes. Oh. Okay, and the thing about this is, this would really appeal to Michael, because Michael was very much an environmentalist. Yes. And so this kind of thing was right up his alley. And so what I will do is, I'm going to pour it in, and then I will decorate, I will put his name in in the top this way, and the date, his date of birth and his date of death. This will go over the top of his, they're going to bury his urn this Saturday. This will go over the top of his ashes. So, and if they wanted it to lay down, the one I made, Dad stood up and it went this way. But I think I'm going to do Michael's this way. Uh. I think it'll work better, especially since it's going, that's that little billy goat. Okay, animals are assholes. You hear that noise? That... Do you think that got over there? Yeah, it might That's have. That's that freaking little billy goat hitting that fence as hard as he can. Just because. <laughs> because why, children? Animals, Animals are, are assholes. assholes. Okay. So I will have Lynn come back later and um, show you, the, you know, I don't know if it's a good idea for her to come out here when I'm working on it or not because I remember from doing dads that the entire time I was doing it, I was bawling like a baby. So yeah. I'm assuming there'll be a little certain amount of bawling. But I will do it similar to what I do, you know, if you've watched me. What I'll do is I'll pour the concrete in. And, well, I probably should show them because you got to put edges on it and all that. So I'll anyway. come out in a few minutes. i got to go check your yogurt anyway. Okay. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm.